I've had a lot of people ask me lately why I'm putting a geothermal system in for a tiny house. Well, there's one reason, and it's that thing right there. We are actually off-grid. We have solar panels, we have wind turbine. That's how we make our power. That's great and all, but in the summer months when it gets hot, we normally shut the air conditioner off at night because we lose our production and the air conditioner can actually really discharge our batteries. So we wait until the sun sets, we shut the air conditioner off, the house starts to slowly, gradually heat up. We have no way of cooling the house down unless we open the windows. With the geothermal system I'm putting in, in theory, we should be able to open the windows, this window here in the bathroom, and hold on, that window up there in the sleeping loft, and when we do that, it'll force enough air through the house to blow hot air out of the house and bring in the chilled air, the drier chilled air, hopefully drier chilled air, from the earth tube system. And when we build the bog house and we move in over next door, over into our forever home, we have something that will, in theory, keep the house somewhat cool and also keep it somewhat warm in the winter. I don't know how much it's gonna warm in the winter. I've been more focused on how to cool it. That's why I've been looking into this ground tube system. So if it's a failure, I'm really not out anything. I'll just dig my pipe back up. But if it works, it works, it's golden, it's a win-win. I just have to get rid of all this dang mud now. 